Welcome back into the Rowdy Studio. I'm Stephen Levine. This is Tom Vandevoort. And, you know, the inevitable happened. I don't think anybody was shocked to find out late yesterday that A.J. Allmendinger's B sample also tested positive, indefinite suspension from NASCAR for A.J. Yeah, and it seems like what he's doing is what we thought he would do, which is you kind of got to take the bullet and go through the program and try to get back as soon as you can. Thank everyone for their support, and he's got to move on down the road from this. I think the real question is what happens to him vis-a-vis Penske Racing? Is he ever going to return to that race car? You know, if I'm Roger Penske, I can't hold a seat for him. Even if I wanted to, I can't afford to hold a seat for A.J. Allmendinger. We don't know how long his road to recovery program is going to take. We don't know. I mean, here's the problem. A.J., was given an opportunity because he was unproven. They, we saw some potential there. Maybe he had something to offer. Here's an opportunity. Those sorts of opportunities don't come no, along they don't. very often. And now, what other seat is there that now, fits that bill? There's something to differentiate him it's like it's, from somebody else who's maybe deserving of an opportunity, and it's not a good differentiation for AJ. Well, look, when you submit your resume, you really don't want to have a typo in there, right? <laughs> right. That's a pretty big typo. Now, there's a couple things, though. No, number one, we don't know what the substance was. We know it was a stimulant. Both, uh, it seems like that Ray, uh, Allmendinger's acknowledged that. Tara Reagan, his business manager, has acknowledged that. But we don't know exactly what the nature of it was. And that really does color your perspective on what this is. And the more negative of, among us will think it's recreational and abusive. And the more positive among us will maybe say he probably had a mistake in some kind of supplement he was taking, and that's caused him to fail his drug test. And what it is kind of matters as far as how you see AJ. So I would assume that Penske Racing knows what the substance I is. I think it matters on how you see AJ sort of in the greater greater picture, but I think if, if the guy was just owner, working out and he was working out and he was trying to get enough protein in his diet and he had some supplement and they, they've got some stimulants in there and he miscalculated with the scooper. I mean, look, you're not going to... Who? And who be, hasn't miscalculated with the scooper? But you're not going to be negative about the but, guy, are you? Well, right? If that's bit. what you yes, believe you are, happened. Because he's, he's put you through all this I stuff agree. as a car owner. Yeah. So look, if you're Roger But Pesci, it's a very different story than... It is a different say, story. Say, the Jeremy Mayfield story. But if you story. have a choice between A.J. Allmendinger and another young driver with potential, A.J. Allmendinger has baggage. This other guy might not. Look, I'm with you. I think... Getting back to Penske Racing feels like a I long shot to me. getting back to me. any quality ride feels like a long shot to me. Yeah, I think you're probably me. right, too, and, and it's unfortunate. Yeah, and I'm not saying that A.J. deserves this, because I have no idea whether he deserves it or not, but I believe it's kind of the reality of his situation. I think you're probably right. All right. Well, that's Tom Vandervoort. I'm Stephen Levine. Thanks for watching.